Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the website com. Once you get to the website, the first thing you're going to do is click button in the top right. And then you are going to click log in with a student class ID. And I've put your um, nickname, your password, and your class ID number on the website. I put all the instructions for that back in the library projects website. Let me exit that. I'm going to log in as me. And then I'm going to show you. Once you log in, it still looks the same. You'll just notice that this has changed to log out. Okay? When you log in, you'll see these different options here. Spell a picture, make a movie, make a card, make a drawing, make a picture, or tell a story. We are going to be telling a story, so you'll click there. And then you'll have to choose a storyline. Okay? Probably you're going to choose either fantasy or winter tales, since we're doing fairy tales. Um, if you have a way to make the other ones work for you, um, then by all means, make those work for you, okay? I'm going to click on Fantasy, and now here you see my book. Here's my book. Um, you can drag characters up. You can make them bigger. You can rotate them around. Whoops. Rotate them around, okay? There's different characters down here to scroll through using these yellow arrows, and there's multiple poses for each character, okay? So you can drag up as many characters as you want. Okay, so there's my three characters for this page, okay? This is my first page. Down here is where you'll type in your text. Um, you can also change different backgrounds down here. So here's my characters, the people, the mountains. Click there and you get some backgrounds. So there it is. And then I'll need to make it a little bit bigger so that it fits the whole page. There we go. Okay. And I might even want it to go down below my text box. Um, these text boxes can be moved around. They can go at the top, in the middle, at the bottom, wherever you want. If you um, accidentally delete the text box or something happens to it, you can always add a new text box by clicking down there. So this is just a basic text box. You can also add speech bubbles. So if you wanted one of your characters to be saying something um, and give it more of a comic book feel, you can do it that way. To delete something, you just click on it and press the delete button on your keyboard. Okay. There's also some different props here. If you click on the tree, there's different props. So if we wanted a little candle fireplace thing there, put that in. Um, okay, so lots of different props to scroll through that you can add in. And again, they shrink, get bigger. rotate around, okay? Anything just like all the other parts here to our story. So there's a page. And your words go down at the bottom or wherever you would like to put them. Um, there are also um, tools for you to just draw your own picture. So I can go down here. I can grab the pencil tool here. And if I want to draw something, I can then pick which color I want to make it. So let's say I'm going to make like a sun. So I can just use the pencil tool here and draw the sun. And it's going to automatically recognize some of my shapes. Did you see how it just made my circle into a circle? So there I have my sun. Okay, you can make your pencil fatter, skinnier. You can also give it kind of... Um, kind of a spray paint effect. You can make it lighter. This kind of helps with uh, um, how it recognizes your shapes. So there, it didn't change it into a circle for me. But if I brought this over here like this and then made a circle, it's going to change that into a circle for me. Okay, Pick different colors. There's also the eraser here, so just to erase things. Um, 
and then your hand tool, which just helps you move things around. Okay, so now I could move these all around. Okay, when you're ready to add a new page to go into the next page, you click Add Page right here, and there you're ready to move on to the next page. So then you go through, add a new background, make it bigger. There we go, there's my background. I might want to put my text box um, kind of in the middle this time. And I'm going to need a character there. So I might put in uh, this guy. Let's sit here on the chair like this. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of the basics of how you would use this program. Um, at the end, when you're finished, you need to make sure that you click Save, and then you can give it a title. I'm going to I'm going to call it Testing. Um, don't click Share with everyone yet, because you want to be finished before you share it. So I'm going to click Save, and then I'm going to click Done. And now here I am back at kind of my home page. Okay. So then next week we'll be able to start that one or we won't have to start over again. We'll be able to continue on with the one that we have already done. Okay, so then if I click tell a story, I can get back into my old one. Okay, so this is kind of the basics of Kerpoof. I hope you all have fun using it without me, um, and we will work more with it for the next couple weeks.